Hi, welcome to this video. Let's see how to record the sounds and vocals inside FL Studio 12. Leave us feedback to improve our future videos. When you are going to record, you have two different situations. Recording internal audio, which means recording pieces of your project inside a pattern or inside the playlist and recording external audio, for example, if you want to record your voice through a microphone. Keep in mind that you can record just if you have either the producer version or the signature one. To record internal audio coming from the software itself, you can follow two methods, the Edison recording and the ARM recording. The Edison recording uses a plugin called Edison inside FL Studio that can record either the pattern content or the playlist content. Let's suppose to have a pattern being played. If you open the mixer window, you have the master track that collects the output coming from all the channels of the pattern open and the other insert columns, each connected to one channel of the pattern shown. On the right, you can add different effects and plugins to the selected track. Just save one slot for the Edison plugin used to record. Make sure these effects are applied to the master track, turning on, in orange, the bottom icon. If you need help with the mixer window, check the related video in this guide. So, if you want to record the wall pattern, simply play it and add the Edison plugin on the master track. If you want to record just one of the pattern channels, simply select the track that refers to that channel and add the Edison plugin on it. Play your pattern and click on the record button. Edison will record the mixer track that has a such plugin. So the whole pattern if you added Edison to the master track or a particular channel if you added Edison to its track. To stop recording, click again on the record button. Do not worry if you don't record fine. After recording, you can edit the waveform just obtained. Use the play button to check how it is. If you have parts of the waveform selected in red, just such parts will be played. To select, simply double click on the waveform and then click and drag where you like. You can play in loop clicking on the first button on top. To cut parts you don't like, just select such parts, right click and go to edit and then to cut. Use undo on top to undo if you mistake. You can be more precise using your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. To save and export what you recorded, just go to the first icon and then to save sample as. This always saves the whole waveform shown in Edison, no matter if you have parts selected or not. If you want to import this directly to your current pattern, just click on the button on the extreme right. A new channel will be added inside your pattern. To hear it, it is sufficient to turn on a single step. Just the selected waveform will be exported if you have any. Recordings are always cumulative. 
Remove the old recordings if you want to save just the newer ones. With this system, you can also record the playlist tracks. Play the playlist. In this case, the mixer represents in the master column the whole output coming from the playlist, while the insert columns represent each pattern channel that is played on the playlist. As seen for the patterns, you can choose to record the master or the single playlist tracks, adding the Edison plugin on the right and recording as seen before. A second method is called ARM recording. This does not use the Edison plugin, but lets you record from the playlist and its tracks only, not any pattern or pattern channel. To follow this method, you do need an ASIO device. In short, ASIO, which stays for audio stream input output, is an audio driver that connects the software you use with the sound card of your computer. ASIO for All is one of these and usually comes integrated inside the FL Studio setup. In case you miss it, check the link in the video description. Before going on on recording, enable the ASIO device go into Options and then to Audio Settings, then select ASIO for All as device on top, then just close the window. Then play the playlist and open the mixer window. Instead of adding the Edison plugin to the master track or the mixer track if you prefer, to record them you just need to enable a circle icon below. This will turn red and will make the track interested armed, so ready to be recorded. Then, as input, in the top right corner, choose the stereo ASIO device and verify that you can hear everything correctly. Then, simply click on the main record button at the very top. A new window lets you choose what to do. If you choose the first option, you will record using the Edison method seen before. This will add the Edison plugin to the armed track to record its content. If you choose the second option, you will use the arm method. The armed track will be recorded and imported inside the playlist itself. You also have other options listed, try them. In case you need to record from the external world, for example, by using any keyboard or microphone, you do always need the ASIO device again. Before going on, check if the microphone is connected and enabled in the ASIO for All or your ASIO device options. To record just an external source, for example your voice, you can select the master track inside the mixer and then select a microphone as its input, right above all the effects list on the right. If all works fine, if you speak at the microphone with nothing being played, FL Studio Wear reacts. Then choose to record it by adding the Edison plugin to it, or arm it and then using the main record button. In case you want to record your voice and the audio coming from the pattern or the playlist, Choose one of the mixer channels for the microphone, changing its input as seen before. Then add the Edison plugin to the master track to save both audio and anything coming from your microphone on the plugin. Or arm the master track to follow the arm recording. 
If you need to record your voice while listening to your audio tracks without recording any audio, simply add the microphone settings to a mixer track that is not the master one and add the Edison plugin on such track or arm just such track. In this way, you record just the voice while you can listen to your project. Make sure your loudspeakers are not too close to your microphone or simply use headphones to listen to the beats while you record. Remember that if you need to export your recordings on your computer, you must disable ASIO for all or any ASIO device first. So go back to audio settings and replace the default driver for your sound card. If you don't do it, you won't be able to hear what you have exported. Thanks for watching this video. Check out our guide for more.